Business was so good that I had kids from like all over paying me for custom requests. I watched one of Suzy's videos, you know, the video game drug dealer, and I was like, hold on, wait a minute. I also have a similar story about a video game drug dealer. So here we go. Back in the sixth or seventh grade, everybody I knew in my class around this time probably had a tablet. We weren't on the iPad level just yet. Don't get me wrong, the Androids got the job done back then. My school had a very strict no electronics policy. And if you were the unlucky kid that got caught, then I'm sorry for you, Brody, because you weren't going to get your device back until your parents came in and had a long talk with the principal. There were only two things we did with our tablets, maybe three, but that's for the upperclassmen. If you know, you know. One, was to play games. Two was to text. My tablet in particular was loaded with games. You name a game, I probably had it. Had the emulators on there too. Some of y'all don't know about that. We all know there isn't really a way to transfer games from one device to another. Wrong. There is a way, or I should say, there was a way. I don't know if it's still around or not. Flash Share, that's what it was called. This little blue app that was originally made for techno phones. Now, this golly app allowed you to transfer anything you wanted from one phone to another. I'm talking about games, music, movies, you name it, it could be sent over. And that's how my video game smuggling empire was born. Now, here and there, we had special days where we could bring our devices in. Man, my school had no idea what was about to hit it. I pulled up to school and my tablet was loaded with games. I knew kids in my school wanted certain games, but they couldn't afford to get it because we were in Ghana at this time and not everyone was as fortunate as I was. I pulled up to a kid playing Subway Surfers. Hey, what games you got, cuz? Mm, not a lot. If you want that FIFA, I got you. How though? Don't even worry about it. Let me see your tablet. Gave him Flasher and sent over FIFA. Now he's shook. He's like, how'd you do that, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm a G, so I kept this simple. Spread the word. And within a couple of minutes, I had different kids from different grades popping up asking me for all kinds of games. Best believe after a while, I started charging. If you wanted more than one game, you better show me that paper. First one's free, the rest gonna cost you. Man, business was booming. Man, nobody was touching me. Over the weeks, couple groups popped up here and there trying to do what I do. When we found them, let's just say they stopped pushing weight. These are my streets. Ain't nobody moving product here apart from me. Business was so good that I had kids from like all over paying me for custom requests like you wanted like let's say Shadowfy 2 but you couldn't get it so you paid me to use my wi-fi to download a game for you and i was a kid i couldn't pay for my own wi-fi so it was a good deal to me i wasn't losing any money remember how we couldn't bring our tablets to school well not me i had an empire to run hey you got any new games hey yo back up bro meet me in the back i got you all right what you want I got that Robocop, that Injustice, Fruit Ninja, you name it, I got it. You got Jetpack Joyride? Yeah, $2. I don't have any money on me though. Holla at me when your pocket's deep. You know where to find me. I was raking in bank. Not really bank, but I was a kid. And that was a lot of money for me back then. Nah, saying that passive income. I was a Pablo Escobar of video games. Cartel de video wiggles. Occasionally, I dabbled in like console game trading. I remember I wanted this Need for Speed game on PS3. And the only way to get that game was for me to trade for it. So I hit up one of my regulars. Hey, I heard you got a Need for Speed on the PS3. Yeah, what's up? I bet I won the game, bro. What game you got for me, though? I got this bomb Fantastic Four game. That John five. I say less. Man, that Fantastic Four game was straight garbage. I played it like twice and news flash, it wasn't even my game. It was my neighbor's game. I don't think I ever gave them their need for speed back. But all good things gotta come to an end, man. My empire began to crumble, mainly because of two reasons. One, we were reaching the point where everyone had all the games. And two, the teachers were on me. The feds had informants. They had penetrated my organization from the inside with my own people. And now they were on us. They were building a RICO case against your boy. And I got out right before everything went left. Man, this was the good old days. I miss it.